A very beautiful Tuesday afternoon from wherever you are. This is Jalango TV and definitely Bonga Najalas. An interview that I'm honored to do of a friend, a brother, and uh, one that has been requested by many. Yani, from the time we posted and said that the defender of all women will be here, <laughs> I said, wow! <laughs> I've never seen so many comments out there, people just asking and saying, wow, we've been waiting for this. Welcome, my brother. Karibu Cheers, sana, my brother. Asante sana. Sanitize, sanitize. Sanitize. <laughs> Ni muhimu. <laughs> Kabisa. How you doing, bro? I'm good, bro. How are you? Women love you. They are my people. <laughs> if you don't take care of them, who will? <laughs> yeah. Because yesterday when I posted that you're coming here, yeah. my timeline has never been bombarded with women like it was yesterday. Women deserve everything good in life. All right. Because they were your beginning. The beginning. They were your beginning. Okay. And I think that's enough. All right. Whether there is a mother or a sister or a wife or a girlfriend. So inanzia hapo. Inanzia hapo. All good things start there. Yes. If you mess them up later, you niyako si yake. And so you decided, I, Maina Kageni, will be the number one defender of women. Who speaks for them? Yeah. Who will? If the not you. African society is so pro men, it is ridiculous, bro. Uh -huh. It's madness. Uh -huh. Yet they are the ones who do everything right for society. End uh -huh. up any bank. Uh -huh. Women who take loans, ninety-nine point nine percent repay. Uh -huh. Current with their repayments. Okay. When a woman who sixty percent, that uh -huh. bank is lucky. Uh -huh. Go to all the big, biggest pieces of land in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Naona, unajenga na Alex, Alex na Jalas. Uh -huh. Go to your neighbors. Uh -huh. 90% are women. Actually, our immediate neighbor is uh, Mwashirima Kapombe. Uh -huh. And they are charmers. Uh -huh. They buy the most land in Kenya. They've got all the biggest corporate jobs. How do you not celebrate that? Don't you think that it's because there was this whole debate around empower women, empower women, and the boy child has been left around, lagging and wishing left that... Left out no the boy... When did that uh, empower women begin? This Beijing... In 1885. Uh, now Beijing vibes. With Njivamwendo. Uh, Njivamwendo and all. That's, so that's when boy child started getting disadvantaged. Yes. The boy child had been on top of the game for hundreds of years before. Are you talking... Are you saying the truth? The, you guys are on top of the game completely. Mm hmm there are still jobs today, which is crazy. And this is a fact, by the way. Mm -hmm. Go and check. Mm -hmm. There are jobs which women do the same job as men and get paid less. Wow. Same there are, job? There are clubs in this country in 2021 which will not admit ladies to a certain bar because it's a gentleman's bar. They're there. In 2021. So you decided that with my big voice in the morning, Nini, eh -eh. it's important muskie na mujue. Eh -eh. <laughs> ne unona bila wanafika. Wanakuja pio. Martha Kome. Eh -eh. Kwanza sasa ibu mpeleke upuzi yuko kotini. The, uh, are they talking about the courts? You know, the only that's where the only last standing boy child is. That is it. The one urinating holding the fish. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that is the only boy I love. But I love him because they are compassionate uh -huh. and they are sensitive mm -hmm. and they are reasonable and they think like mothers. If this country was run by women, mm -hmm. we'd have a motherly president. Wow. Look at Soluhu. She's only been in office how many months? A couple of months? Uh, three now. There is already change. Who was there this week? Actually, yesterday? Aliku Dangote. Dangote. And he said, moving forward, I'll be a champion of Tanzania. Because women create homes, not houses. Wow. So she made a home of Tanzania, mm -hmm. and they've all united behind her, and she's opened up the possibilities. Wow. We are live from Miali, definitely. If you ever wanted to have a good place, you can always come and just chill and have a good meal, have an amazing drink, amazing privacy, and just the best, best uh, restaurant in the 254. Definitely, Miali leads in that. What, what will you have today? Do you know what I really want to have? Uh -huh. Kuku kienyeji tumbukiza uh -huh. with cabbages and waru. Wow, the kikuyu in you. And chapos. <laughs> wow, the kuyu in you. The kuyu in you, man. You can't, there's no, no day you'd ever walk somewhere and just say, I want some fried chicken. Nini, nini. So uh -huh. you want kuku tumbukiza. Tumbukiza. Uh -huh. Na kapilipili kwa umbali. Uh -huh. And the waru's must be there. Uh -huh. And cabbage. Uh -huh. And chapos. Uh -huh. Dania Kwambali Kwambali I hear Kikuyu's put every Dania in everything 
we kaka kwa chai wa ni herbal tea <laughs> wa uh, 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 yeah so that's what i want for like come, come, come close and take this orders eh yes Yes, yeah, so he wants the language actually said I can make my order live. Yeah. Yes, you can make your order. So, nataka kuku kienyeji tumbukiza. Iko. Kuku kienyeji tumbukiza. Ipe na ikuwe na go cabbage na waru na pilipili kwa umbali na chapu hapo kando. What nonsense. Na chapu white sio brown. What nonsense is this? Bro? What? Have you what, what, what are these things you are ordering? It, they are, it's as healthy as you can get, bro. Kuku tumbukiza. Yes. Cabbage with cabbage and waru. Waru and uh, pilipili. Eh uh-huh. Na chapos on the side. Wow. As a side dish. Try what it. Amazing. But then today we're going to have lunch. Uh-huh. Yes. We'll have a good lunch here. Yeah. We'll have an amazing, amazing. What are you gonna have? Have you had your lunch? Uh, you know when uh, when I came here much earlier, ah. had earlier meetings. Eh? Uh-huh. But I'll share what you have so that I can yes. taste of what. Oh, uh, I had a fried. I, I did pork rib. Uh, pork ribs. Omera, jaluni garama. I did pork ribs uh-huh. with uh, with saute. With a sauteed potatoes. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty posh. Uh, not really posh, you know. Uh-huh. You welcomed me to this posh life, bro. Hey, you remember when we met almost 15 yes, years 15 down, years ago down the line. But you know what, Jalas, you uh-huh. always had that thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure you agree this guy is the most confident person ever. And he knew from then he's conquering this world. Look at him. Ah uh, no, There's you no can't, bigger person you, than this guy. You can you can you can't can say industry. that. You can't say that. And he's that. evolved properly. You can't I was say telling that. some of the future of media mm-hmm. are channels like this. Yes. Like Jalango TV. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Mm-hmm. That is where the new market is. That's where everyone is moving to. For the first and time. And he moved into that space when it was new. Yeah, we so were, you're a we pioneer. Were, we were just starting it up. Uh, corona showed us yes. the dust and but, we had to come forward. But you fought back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, when I called you here. Yes. I needed you to talk to me. Mm-hmm. I needed you to talk to new people coming into the media industry. Yes. I needed to lie that I don't know our story. Uh-huh. I needed to <laughs> lie that you know what I'm meeting uh-huh. you here for the first time. Uh-huh. But uh, people so many people don't know that when I was coming into Keys crazy interviews I didn't have anything. In the beginning, I, I somebody like you or the few people who told me, bro, you got this. You see Jalango, mm-hmm. from when you first came out, mm-hmm. from your acting days. Mm-hmm. That's why you noticed Jalango. So when he came to Kiss, it was uh, such a breath of fresh air because we were getting the biggest talent. The guy would just be bigger and he learned a lot. He was with Carol and Toko in the morning. Mm-hmm. And you guys did a lot of crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. Are you with me? Yeah. Then you moved on to your journey. Yes. And wherever you go, you always do so well. That is a mark of someone who's got confidence in himself. I keep telling people, me t- tomorrow Patrick mm-hmm. Kwako can tell me to report for breakfast on East FM and I'll be there and you do it na tutaongea kikuu na hindi aki aki so so minor people do not know where this journey began no people do not know you just do not wake up and and you were classic and everywhere uh, how did you find yourself this is a crazy where, thing. Where, where, where did you start, bro? Jalang, how do I say this? I never ever wanted to be in radio. Okay. It was the biggest fluke ever. This is what happened. Came back from the UK, right? Mm-hmm. 96, 97. Mm-hmm. And I'd gone into showbiz a bit. Mm-hmm. Because back in the UK, I'd uh, fraternized with Shaggy and his pals and his circles. So I brought his DJs for a show in Kenya with a couple of friends. DJ Pinye was there. Okay. And a guy who was a very good friend called Munyogi Denji and Hilary Kate. So they brought some DJs from the UK. Mm-hmm. So I remember we went to, that time there were only two stations. There was Capital and there was Metro. All right. Mindy or Hasla Uko Inje. Never imagined even what radio was. So we go to pay for the ads. When we pay for the ads, then they say, do you have 40,000? They say 40,000 for what? For the voiceover. They said, what is a voiceover? He said, you know, an ad is spoken by someone. <coughs> Somebody will have to say this. Somebody thing. will have to say these words. Okay. I said, I don't have. Can I do it? <laughs> so they, I was told, look, it's your ad. Come on, Nimbaya. Shauria. Shauriako. So I did it. And then Phil Matthews asked me, have you ever thought of being in radio? I said, no. Would you like to be in radio? 
I said, I don't know. Can you remember the words of the ad? I can't even remember that ad. It was, it was DJ Kofi, DJ Who. It was all going on at the barn. I remember. You remember the barn? Yes. Ngong Road? Yes. I remember it was there. Entrance, I think, was a G and 500 Bob. Mm -hmm. Those the best DJs. So you went out and saying, the biggest DJs are coming. The biggest com DJs are coming to Kenya. Get ready for the UK's finest. DJ Kofi, DJ Who, DJ Who. It then was Phil, incredible. Phil says, Brought to you by Godfather Entertainment. That was a company. Ah, Godfather <laughs> Entertainment. Ah, that was a company. Ah, yeah. So after I brought the DJs, it was over. Mm. Phil, called in there. Phil Matthews called me and said, we're serious about radio. Come in and try. Wow. So I came in and I was made to read scripts. But I got the real training for radio people. Mm -hmm. The things you should never say. How you should do things. Respect the music. Respect the musicians. Uh, respect opinions, even if you don't agree with them. Mm -hmm. So I was given to Sean Cardovillis, who was then a, a sports editor. Mm -hmm. So I became the sports announcer. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. Then, but they could see my passion was in music. Because I'd spend, I'd do my sports news, I'd be done by 11. Mm -hmm. But I'd spend three hours in the production studio. Mm -hmm. Just listening to songs, there were so many songs. I was like, hey, radio, radio is interesting. So they made me a swing shift producer. They gave me a Sunday afternoon show. Mm -hmm. A soul show. And I had so much fun. So I was then made a swing shift presenter, which is when someone goes on leave. Yeah, you're, you're the guy. Yeah, you're the guy. Jalangu doesn't show up, you pull up. I pull up <laughs> and I do the show. So it went like that. And at that point, Aki, they were paying so badly. But then, you know, they, I, I, I always give capital something. Mm. They give me the basics. So Capital FM will always be in my heart. So I did that for a couple of, about four months. Then a gentleman called Dennis Cachero called me. Do you know Dennis Cachero? Mm -mm. He was in the original, what was that uh, TV show he used to do? It was even banned in, by Martin Chikuku, he led a motion in parliament. Uh-huh. Usini. What was This, hey, I'll remember the name. Okay. Usini Arakishe or something. Usini Arakishe. And the reason it was banned, because he kissed a lady. Ah. On TV. So he was one of the biggest guys in arts, but that time he was working for the nation, and nation were launching their radio station. So Dennis Kashero calls me and says, Mina, come. So you I, left I need you to do the evening show. Permanent show is yours. So I went to the nation. I'd already known um, Wilfred Kiboro, who was our CEO, the CEO from the golf circles, because I'd always played golf. So he joined and it was fun. Mm. And I so loved those days. You are hustling but playing golf. You're still playing. Bro, Jesus. this is one thing I learned in life. Jesus. Your network is your net worth. That's it. You're never going to find billionaires mm -hmm. in huko clubs, huko, 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 nini, huko in the hood, apana. <laughs> you have to go where they are. Okay. You have to go where they are. I've seen guys, I have a pal of mine who does yes. not play golf, yeah. but is registered in a club. Yes. Because he tells me he doesn't know who he will tee off with. Yes, but you see, mm -hmm. you, he, go he goes there socially. And, uh, uh -huh. and I'll, I'll give you one very good example. When I came back from the UK, I was selling cars, used cars from the UK. And I tried to get an appointment with a guy called Jeremiah Kirini, the late. Mm -hmm. That time he was the CEO of EABL. Mm -hmm. One of the wealthiest men in Kenya. I tried, after about four months, I got an appointment. I was coming to sell middle management level cars, used cars. That time, Lisin had not come into the market. All right. So, he came to office yake. And I was both told by his PA, enter now. And I entered. And he, I don't know what document he was. I'll never forget. He was reading a document. And he told me, Karibu Kitty. And I said, he never looked up. <coughs> okay. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Then he started a timer on his table. A timer with a clock. And he says, okay, go proceed. I'm listening. So I said, oh, this is what I do in the UK. I was just getting started. The thing did. Grrr. He said, time up. We'll get back to you. Goodbye. Ah. And I, I'm like, eh? P.S. I am in gear for office. I'm in the And I've never felt so low. But one day I was at Windsor. I was, say, I had a game with you and this lovely producers here. But I came late. So by the time I had arrived at Windsor, you, you guys are teed off. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting in the changing room wondering, should I just go to the bar and have a drink or should I just go back home? 
At that moment, Jeremiah Kirini walks in. In the says, same changing room. Same changing room. And he says, good afternoon, good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine. Do you have a game? I said, no, my team has left and I was thinking, what should I do? He said, why don't we go together? And I had his full attention for four hours. That's why you need to play golf. Guys, guys, which, which is the nearest golf? <coughs> We need to register. Lisa, where are you? <laughs> we are registering for golf immediately. <laughs> That's why you need to play golf. And the very next week, I went to his office. He took my hand, took me to the commercial director's office and said... And there was no timer this time? No, 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 no. He took me to the financial director's office and, and told said, this is minor. He's a fellow golfer. Because golfers see themselves as... Same in the same yes, class. He's a fellow golfer. And he's got a very interesting business. Support him. And I got my orders. If I waited for him, who go mali kuwa naenda kukuwa? Eh. That's where you need to be where the shakers and the movers are. Wow. Sit at the bottom of a table of kings. Because, wakiangusha mgu ya kuku, hawa chukui. Huna kule hiyo. Si utajipa tu. Eh, that is deep, eh. Sit at the bottom of the table of kings. They are bound to, big pieces are bound to fall. And when they fall, and when they fall, they don't pick them. They don't pick them. You'll have a chance to pick it. Thank you. So that's why golf, even though I've not played actively probably in the last couple of years, but I still. I think we need to go back. I still. I no, no, still no, 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 no. We need to go club. back. We from See, this story, no, we are going back. We, we, we must go. <laughs> because, we'll be leaving the office and going straight for golf. Because that's where now you go and you network and you meet people with big ideas. You might have an idea, but they've got big funding. That's where you're gonna find them. They don't come out of their circle. Understand that you have to find them where they are. Wow. So you are here back from the UK selling cars. I'm back. I'm selling cars. I've gotten a good deal from EABL. I've teamed up with Kina DJ Pinye, Kina Kati, Kina Munio Gidenji. We've brought Kina DJ Coffee. I've done the ad. Capital want me to do a show. I've moved to Nation. Then I get called by Patrick Kwaku. Wow. PQ. PQ himself. Boss 001. You guys don't know our boss. <laughs> eh? And because it's Patrick Kwako, you don't just meet anywhere. We have to meet at the Trattoria. Oh, Trattoria then was... It was the best restaurant man in town. I, th I still think it is. Best Italian restaurant. I used to pass there. I've not been there in a while. Right opposite was uh, the, the King, Burger King or something. Ye, ye, it's Steers. Steers. Should have yes. been Steers. Yes. Yeah. Steers was right opposite. Right opposite Trattoria. Oh, it's friend, it's I, pronounced Trattoria. 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 Pizzeria. Pizzeria. Or yeah. motor. <laughs> or carabopede. Exactly. So I did pick you there. <laughs> Bro, you know, I used to pass. Let me tell you, I used to pass Trattoria. Eh? Yeah. And you know, it is. it used to look like a fortress. Yes, you'd see plants, nini. It's you couldn't no, see inside. You couldn't see inside. And it's an outside see, by, by dining the road, area. Kapsa. Yeah. And you're like, wow. Where are the people who enter this? The people place? who used to go there for lunch are the ones who've been shopping extensively at Italian men's way across the road. Mm-hmm. The time I met a guy who was a very famous Kenyan. He was called Kuria Wakanyike. Kuria Wakanyike. Wakati Wamoi. Alikuwa metoka Italian men's way. Mnunua Dhuti ya 3 million. But to make it come a kumi, that three million I'm a choka kid. So to kumi, three million. Three million. Sanitize. I got choka a kumi, choka a kid. Sasa kase ma, sma ni kunjo kahawa kai da tatoria. Ne gie tatoria de, ne kunjo kahawa. Eh, koe kati me si dia tired. Eh ne. So I sit there with PQ and he says, "You need to come. You need that time the phrase was make the big switch to kiss one hundred. Remember? Make the big switch. Make the big switch to kiss one hundred. So we talked about my salary. Nation, I think we're paying me 60 G's. Mm -hmm. Me told him I'm earning 380 G's. You told him you wanted 380? No, I told him I was earning 380. Ah. You are being paid 60K? Yeah. And you said you are... No, I said 180 G's. I said I'm being paid 180 G's. So PQ doubled it. And he said, I'll give you 320,000 shillings. Oh, it's Abu Yeah, well, 360,000 yeah. shillings. Okay? Mm. Joint kiss. I said, can I think about it? He says, yeah. Kumbe sayo roo naina seba. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Si na nikamaliza kahawa, nikamambia, I'll get back to you. Sa. Nikatembea pole pole, nikapigia iyo kona ya 
Standard Chartered. Nika kimbia. Nelson Sere nikambia kibono ni DW. But I told him, look, this is what he's offering me. Kibono told me, go. Even some of my senior managers don't even earn that here. Go. So you actually you left with these blessings? I left with these blessings. He mm. said, you can always come back, mm. but you need to go there. I've always told guys that, yeah. that thing in our circles, eh? yeah. that you never burn bridges. No, you can't. Because in, in the media industry, yeah. today your producer this side yes. who can be your boss there. They're side. on the other side, yeah. Or you can leave this side. Yes. Mtukane huku, ustukio mefika nation, yendo CEO. Yendo CEO. So, you see, I've made a few switches. Yes. From KISS yes. to Standard Group, exactly. to Royal Media, to, Real media, to media Max, yeah, to back media. to KISS. By the way. And even today, if yes. I wanted back to go back to anywhere, I would still go. You'd be because, welcome because I never burnt bridges. True, uh, you can't Tom burn Japani, bridges. Tom by Japani the way. is my closest. Thank you, Tom Japani at Standard Group. When I was yeah. leaving Maisha, yeah. actually, he told me you can actually go. Yes, I've spoken to the team. Yeah, they are they are they are okay. Yeah, they can't match. Yes, and. Go ahead. They'll be disappointed to lose you, but you never burn bridges. You Your never friend, Fred Afune. Fred Afune. Great man. Any day. Great man. Mm -hmm. So I go to kiss. Yes. The Ujalu has intended. Okay. Because PQ then says, I need you to get the nation out of your system. Mm. So he gave me two months' salary. Gross. He said, Go and enjoy yourself for a month and then come back. Ah! So two months. Two months gross. gross. Yes. In cash. Keshi keshi. <laughs> yes. Nyita. Nyita. You can and kaji bamba mumbasa wapi malindi came back. Started work. I think after three months he said, No. You need an incentive. I said, eh? Diga pele kwa tukiwa na karole mutoko. Simba called motors. That time they had a new SUV called the Out, uh, Freelander. Outland, free, uh, not Freelander, Outlander. Outlander, I remember. Well, choose one, not to compare logbooks. And the Zenu, I'm not Denny, 20 cars is Asa. Ah! How do you not give 110% to something like I, that? I, I went to kiss when things were not okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't so get that? No, no, I didn't get it. What happened eh, yeah. on my case yes. is actually Caroline who got me a loan yes. from Kidu, Kibutiri. Oh, Kibutiri, because yes. Caroline told me go look for a car. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Then go check. You know where I went? Uh -huh. Straight at uh, Sarit Center. You know uh -huh. that? Yes, the the, the Kabilbo. Yes. I saw Nini Starlet. Yes. K A U zero zero three K. You remember that one? Ooh, I remember yes. you with that car. Yes, you did. Word. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. You can love me. Ah. Yes. Ah. But it's been a journey and a half. I'm telling you. But look, it went on. Uh -huh. uh, we launched Classic. It was launched under crazy circumstances. But when I was told you were going to do breakfast there, you know you don't fear. Mm -hmm. I remember. So, so you the did papers. the drive, drive shot I kiss? I did, did a kiss. I worked with some of the best talent, Edward Quach. Wow. And Edward Quach, let me tell you, first of all, he's the most amazing radio talent Kenya has ever produced. It was such an honor to work with him. Ses Mutungi, I loved Ses. Shiku Moirore, we did a show, me, Shiku, and Edward Quach. It was. Hilarious, it was crazy. Vipul doggy dog. Dog -dog. Remember, I called Vipul. I yeah, remember the Mwindi guy. The Mwindi Kubwa. Yeah. Paka ka toa wimbo. Kabza. Eh. Hey. Did you know he had a song? Yes, I remember it. Yeah. So, moving to classic was a different experience. And working with the people I work with, I mean, Kengang is just the most ridiculous thing. And I felt at home completely. But you know, as times go, the station changes. Because the station never remains stagnant. That's true. It changes to a new audience. And mm -hmm. it's always a younger audience, younger audience, younger audience. I loved my soul music, but I learned to love what the audience loves. Okay. So I'm as comfortable playing Young Thug today as I would be playing Whitney Houston. All right. Yeah, so I, if, you, if, you, if you're not in love with the music, your passion will never come through. Wow. You gotta love what is on the playlist. You've gotta love it, and you've got to respect those artists. But you play, you play a lot of bongo, you. Yes. Why? The audience loves it, and they're happy to listen to it. They're happy to listen to it. They love it. Beautiful, well-written music, well delivered, creative videos. I mean, and we've got a lot of that here. Right now, I'm feeling major. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you know mm -hmm. i'm feeling him kabisa wa hadija kana wa hadija kijana wa hadija yule ni mtu wa mayai muite agonge mbili mbili bas ayakio so there is the og i love otile i love everyone eh <laughs> but i love the bongo boys they are they're really good especially when you watch them work mm -hmm. and I've, i really love what they do mm -hmm. yeah but i love my sauti so any day i love nyash man nyash nyash ametutupa by the way nyash ni aje atoe ngoma ingine eh hey, bana mm -hmm. it's about time bro wow guys we we'll live with my nakageni the biggest interview that you people were watching were waiting for definitely uh uh 3400 people watching us live hey what's up now what's up for the first time just give them a shout out right, uh, let me just a, show yeah, them yeah, out. for the first time Edward Yongo, mm -hmm. VP, Patience10, what's up girl? Mm -hmm. Steven Ochieng, I see you, Veronica Mumbi, Mambo VP, Brian Otieno, I can see you as well. VDJ Dondada, hey. VDJ Dondada, <coughs> the Bleacher family, I can see you. No, let, let it go this way, uh -huh. then uh, the new ones will start the coming. The new ones will start coming. Katush yes. <laughs> and Morrison, Meshak, Rotich, Mirian, Mudiora, good morning darling. Uh, Patty Mikase, how are you doing today? Hey, hey, <laughs> Noah, hey, <laughs> where? See what, what is now? happening? Where? <laughs> you can't keep oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how crazy people love you, man. Where? Yani, I can't even see one name, man. You can't. Mudoni, I can see Mudoni. <laughs> Paul, Alex. <laughs> Tabitha, mm. Jackie, mm. Saimo, Catherine. Yeah, yeah, there's no even time to read both names. You hey, can listen. I love you guys more wow. than life. These guys love you so much. Thank you very, wow. very much for all. So here, love. this is what you do. Moses Kuri, I see you. James Matungu, thank you so much, Lydia. Oh, yeah. you yeah. Apple. Yes, then you scroll it oh. yourself. Yeah. You see that? Mm, yeah. naive, you're naive. You're your Siri. Yeah. One boy, Esther. Uh -huh. Salama for calls. Asante Sana. Calvin Biggie, what's up? And there is Winnie Mogure. How are you doing, Winnie? Um, Loya Lumati, Esther Kamwende. Hello. Uh, Lois, Sabariako Lois. Uh, Babu Michael, Chris Jack, VP. Uh, Tabitha Maina, I see you. Uh, Zach, the VIP, Willie Sotieno, VP. Kamba News, and Lydia Maina, Mambo VP. Hey, Dennis Gashi. Victor Gekara. <laughs> <laughs> All these guys coming in heavy, heavy. I love you guys. More thank you, thank anything. you guys. If so we just much. know that I love yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. so much. Ah, Regina says, Hey, Francisco Molola, I see you. Thank you so much, everybody who's live with us. Okiweka heavy, you can't be able to I see. So much. You can't see. I appreciate all the 3,600. I, I love you so much. Look at oh, wow, it's big. Thank and it's you so huge, much, guys. Bro. I love you But more this than guy anything. says that, bro, yeah. now you love women and, and you to fight for them. Yes. When are you getting married? Where? <laughs> I need you, I need you to, to tell me, you bro, I have a suit ready or a kitenge ready. You know, I need guys. to stand next you to see, you. You, people, you no, let me tell you, yes, you need to be there uh -huh. as a group, and you as a best man, a Shafi on the side, on uh, Shafi, Quatch on the side, What's up, Shafi, Larry on, Larry Asego on the he side, Larry Asego. you can imagine that lineup. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me tell you something about marriage. <laughs> right? And why you are not? And I'll tell you why. Mm. When you listen to my show every day, mm. some, it's scary sometimes. All right. Because you hear a lot of stuff. Mm. And I've had it for years and years and years and years. But it's taught me one thing. Sometimes marriage is not for everyone. You know what? Never say never. And I believe that. Do you know why? Mm. Charles and George are gotten married at 54, 59. Yes. And he's at 100 now. Ajakuva, where was I? Tutakuzika 63. But if Kama, our one, our one is a Kukumaliza, why would you? Why would you Tajimaliza? Because what you guys do, you try and keep up and impress. Mm -hmm. You try and do crazy out of this world things that you think she'll remember forever. Mm -hmm. That's how you kill yourselves. How will my inner? first of all, your woman will always have more money than you, and that's a fact. She will always have more money than you. How now? 
Because she didn't spend her money. She saves it. So don't think buying her Benz is impressing her. But man, somebody like you now, really, yeah. what, will, what will not make you impress a woman, really? Look at this monster you fucked <laughs> out here. This is a 16 million. They will always have more money than you. Million so you're killing this yourself. This guy is 16 or 28? This 26. is 2020. Yeah, this is the yeah. 2020 yeah. BMW X6. Yeah. Trading f zero mileage. Zero. 22 you know million. I'm here, Bana. Eh, eh, eh. Why? Don't complain about roads. Buy a big car. I'm married. <laughs> you see? <laughs> now you want me to be giving that excuse. <laughs> and then mean him to a freedom. <laughs> you need you need your freedom. Unamka unasema, eh, korone ibaisha naenda stay too in two weeks. You naenda. Wow. Unafikiri unauna jalasa kuko naivasha na marafiki unasema, hey. I'm, I'm pulling up now. Let me go now. You call a chopper. From you the... go. From the house, you straight, just go. You learn. Now, can you do that when you're married? No. <laughs> you see? No, because I have to ask my. You wife. have to get a visa. Even in time, I'm going out with my boys. Yeah, you must. After those boys club drum. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hey, boys club <laughs> she, she, can't, she can't even believe that I'm going anywhere. No. Hey. I have to tell her, babe, listen, I'm yes. going out with my boys. Yes. And we are going to behave. Yes. We are good people. <laughs> you know all of them. You see. My love, can I go? That's what she I've got a no, problem doing. No, we, we yes. you're not going. We have a rasho in Tomorrow. Yeri. Yes. Oh, my God. Then you see. You know, hey, hey, so don't know. So okay. what you do, you take your time. Mm. For some people, it comes early, like you. It didn't come early at 39. Yeah. At it's, three. it's okay. Hmm. It came early, and, and Jonjo... Uh, considering Jonjo, that was much. Jonjo, mm. him, he first ate life with a big spoon, mm. played high stakes politics, made a lot of money. Then said, Bas, let's do this. Let's see and see how it and works. And got two beautiful children, grown up now, running the empire. Wow. At a hundred years, he still has two beers a day, he swims every day with his pinstripe suits. Written Jojo 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 jo, jo. C N C N initial C N C N C N C N Charles and Jojo Charles and Jojo. You can't do that when you're married. How? Because your wife will even choose for How? you. How? Who are you impressing? You buy a new outfit, divine collections. <laughs> Unless she knows the owner. <laughs> and they are very good friends. <laughs> they, thank you. <laughs> Come as him, Jui. Hey. Hey. Who is this woman selling you clothes now? Hey. Does she think that I can't choose clothes for hey. you? Jesus, mercy, thank God you're my wife's friend. So you now have to make sure everyone is compatible with her. Which is not a bad thing. Just is not for everyone at a particular stage in life. Wow. Maina, your radio show is crazy. You talk about things people do not want to Which listen women, to. Women, you people don't want to hear the reality. No, 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 no. Maina, you don't hear how the many reality? times you've been summoned? We, we need to kill that radio. radio well, they keep calling someone in Miapo at the authority. <laughs> yeah? They say, me sorry. Say, me sorry. Sorry. They would die end. Sorry. Sorry, sanitize. <laughs> ah. yeah, but you gotta go on, bro. Maina, Maina. You wake up every day, put up an amazing show. You know, each and every single day, me and you work right you know, across each other. What people don't know is that every day I see him at the beginning of the day, during the shows, mm. after the show, we all is together. But you see, your mood has got nothing to do with your listeners. And that's why he's successful. Mm -hmm. If he's got issues, that's an Abibi and as you watch in their studio. Mm -hmm. It's not the listener's problem who you're having a problem with. You're there to entertain them. And he understands that. That's the most important thing. Tukimaliza saa nne kila mtu anachukua mashida zake anarudisha kwa mgongo mnaenda nazo. Usiziwache hapo kwa studio. Mm -hmm. And that's the old thing I tell people. If you don't do the passion, if there's no passion then uh, you're not going to get anywhere. Whatever you do you be the best. There's a lady who works for us and I will not mention her name. She was a cleaner. She cleaned so good. She was the best. Even the CEO recognizes that. And she's driving now. If you're cleaning, clean the best. If you're watching, watch the best. If you're a producer, produce the best. If you're a content creator, create the best. Because if you don't give it 100%, your audience will see it. They feel it. Audiences aren't stupid. They can tell you've not even done your homework. They'll know. But that's, that's exactly why Jalangwe is successful. Why he impacts lives. He does things outside radio. 
Jenga and Alex and Ajala Sets became, now everyone believes I can actually build a home. Is that what you've done? And you don't even realize that impact. I don't need to have 50 million shillings to build a house. I can start pole, pole, pole. Simu nilu upload kwanza. Alafi kaka haka hivyo. Eight years. Buka sakanya mapesa, 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 mapesa. Bas. That's the same thing with life. You're never going to get all the money you need at once to live a good life. Take that little and do it step by step. Utafika. Wow. Talking about Kufika, today, one of our biggest sponsors of this show definitely is Odibet. Yes. Odibet, Bet Nijamo. And they sent for me this amazing, amazing hoodies. Yes. Uh, let, me, let me see that one. Ah. Mine, I need to give you one. Eh? Ah, you need to give me this hoodie, man. Wow. Well, I need to give you one. Bet Nijamo, we appreciate you guys from Odibet. Hey, Thank hey, you. Let's hear mine. Thank you, Odi. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you very much, Odibet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, it's a nice one, eh? Yeah, and it's heavy with this cold, eh? Hey, it's nice and mm -hmm. it's heavy, man. Mm -hmm. Let me Are we giving away any? Yeah, yeah. I have like five of them to give away. Two. Two. I have two to give away. Only two? Yeah. But you're in the way. Two, two. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let me give you more. You're <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Where are you going to Where are you YouTube or are you Facebook? Okay, so. Is that okay? So, let, let, see that one. See that one. Which color oh. do you like? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> you're confused, eh? So, so I have this amazing, amazing jacket from all the ah, yeah. Just uh, please, just. Uh, I want to give away this, and I want to give away this black one. Right. Where is mine? So, so there, there are others there. there there's enough there. Oh, there so choose enough, a yeah. color. Okay. And uh, you, all you have to do yeah. there, just uh, uh, type on the comment and say, uh, uh, Bet Nijamo. But bet ni bet ni jamu. Uh, bet ni jamu. Yani bet Facebook, ni... I'm looking for you. All right. Have you done the draw? Uh, Super producer. Uh, Super producer will give us names. Will give there. us the draw for Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, oh but thank you so yeah. so much, guys. But, this is what you can win. Yeah. There's this color and there's the black one. Wow. So two people on Facebook. Mm. Thank you very much. Ah, you will not win the one I'm already wearing. Thank you very much. Just say bet ni jamu. So, so who have you given to on no, YouTube? No, no, no. Uh, Gakenya will, will be he'll, able to he'll draw. Uh, guys, also, if you didn't know, Picha Clear is the guy behind Maina yeah. Kageni's work. He does amazing work. Uh, he's personal the guy videography, who... photography, talk to him. Weddings, anniversaries. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, those things are when you can have balls in it. What is it? Burn in the oven. Burn in the oven. Yeah, yeah burn in the oven. In a fall, but you ball. Who told you that you are not? Ah! When you are not on social media? See, you are not on Talk to us about the, the sun. You know what I do and you need to understand this. Okay. Family, mm -hmm. I always, it's private. All right. Do you know why? Because mm -hmm. they didn't choose this life. I'm the one who chose it, not okay. them. Okay. So, I love my entire family, mm -hmm. but I'll not talk about them mm -hmm. because they didn't ask for their attention. Wow. Unless they come and tell you. Unless they come and say, I'd like to say something. Or say, Dad, I, when you're in that My mama told me, the only thing I want to do. Remember that time we were planning to do my 20 year anniversary? Yes. She said, I must come and speak. And I said, fine. And we shall still do it. We shall still do it. Yes. Wow. That one will be a big event. Eh? See, you organize it, man. Mine at 20. Yeah. Mine at 20 and we put it at okay. maybe. Where, which is your best venue? I don't I know. I start planning. You it. choose. You choose. So we put up mine at twenty. We yes. put up a lineup and everyone. Good lineup. Good you. artists. Nini. Once Corona has been is under control, so that we can have at least how many people in? Five thousand. Five thousand. Paying two thousand. That's ten million. Yes. Five million. You ask five million. Uh, no problem. That's the plan. You can even take all the money. <laughs> we just have to pay the artists. <laughs> Then you keep the rest. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> but you also need to understand jalango has been on a long journey. Mm -hmm. 15 years in this industry is not easy. So mm -hmm. please learn from him and always be your best. I've never seen you make a ever. Not I even know. once. Never. Not even on social media. And then people annoy you. A lot. You must have people who promised you a payment on Friday. Aikuja. You must get annoyed, right? Meruka. Imeruka. Kwanza, you owe me money. Ah, he? For where? <laughs> I don't know. There's a job you haven't paid me. Which one? If there's one person who gives me a lot of jobs, it's you. Yes. Which one haven't you been paid for? How many? Hey, let me see. There's a money you owe me somewhere. Like how much? 
like 650k aya uh, that one you'll be paid for by my the, my personal office today eh yeah? hata leo pesa iko kwa bank najua pesa za sponsors zilingia monday <laughs> but then again bro yeah. you know now this that you run a whole country and everything yeah ever thought to put your hands in a political post nini nini politics is the fastest way to go broke fastest way to the go fastest broke. way to go broke the fact in kenya is you need to be on a big party ticket the biggest party in that area which now limits your thinking because then your thinking must follow that of whoever is a party leader so you can never be jalangu the thinker in a big party scenario thinkers come from running as independents or small parties because it's their ideas and their ideology that people buy into but now you go into jubilee you go into odm odm your thinking must conform with the thinking of the people at the top anything outside that you branded a rebel so suddenly the jalango we know if you go into politics won't be the jalango we see he won't look at moha tuambie ni ukweli huu ni mwaka wa kuambia na ukweli jichopevu as we are in that fiery guy to when make noise in parliament eh to have wanted change on certain things across parties in the country for the good of the country then our friend kj kj i love you more than life but again he had to conform because that's how politics in kenya is it is so sad if you can run as an independent you go sell your ideas if you stand as jalango you will be elected you would mm-hmm. but there's always this need to be on this party ticket and that is the beginning of the end of youth opening your mind wow. and that's a tragedy very bad your honest uh-huh. advice to me for langata langata is a very urban constituency you can actually do it Run as an independent jalango i put you in the list of my 2 me, million donations me i will give you money and i will be at your rallies because i'm not at the beck and call of some party leader <laughs> it's me and jalango and these people in jalango me i'll support you because i know you want to make a change there and if the changes you've made anything to go by you'll do well we would do iku danganyana that's the thing with you <laughs> but who's, who's never gives jalango see siri ataweka lakini ya akimis kidogo haji kudanganyana so yes i'll support you so go for it you sure i'll endorse you i promise you <laughs> who endorsed obama first who saw him as a very junior senator and said i'm going to put all my resources behind this man do you know who it was no oprah winfrey okay and she pulled her strings and made sure he spoke at that uh, democratic convention that moved people and that was she it. brought in people she knows to endorse come on his dream began with oprah so this dream you is with your network it, it's a beginning of a dream it can happen it will happen very good because we need a lot of things to change we cannot lie <laughs> we need a lot to change they are young people those are the ones my heart bleeds, bleeds for we were just it's, it's not doing very well the economy is not doing very well we're coming we are in the middle of a covid-19 pandemic jobs are lost it is heartbreaking seeing very young people with big dreams not getting those opportunities it it hurts banks aren't giving loans anymore auctioneers auctioning and no one to buy go to the, the national dailies the auctioneer pages are like 10 and i hear they are stuck with the property the, who are they selling to me unless they give me for free for three years then maybe i'll pay them after three years what? but it, that, that's those are the things that now you need and you champion them because you help a lot of cases everywhere paka yawanda jalangu achokangi simtamaliza jalango jameni is got a new wife but yeah it's it's important to think about that so you play your part i play my part everyone plays their part 
So you stand. Actually stand. I'm daring you now. Here, look in that camera. Are you standing? Yes. 2022? Yes. As an independent? Sanitize, <laughs> <laughs> Kidara. Sanitize. Hey! Jalango. Go in as an independent. Eh. Hey. Abu tutachukua. Yes. Because you're not confronting to any other person. Yeah, that's where I vote. <laughs> what do you want to vote? Langata. <laughs> Langata constituency. Let me check. <laughs> hmm? Shadrach Kimalel Primary School is my polling station. Yeah, Langata. Yeah. yeah. Mm, wow. So on Facebook, we have a guy called Benjamin Kideka. He's just won himself a beautiful Udi. A from Odi Bets. Odi Bets. That's my winner. Uh -huh. You, your winner is? Winnie Mugure. On YouTube. On YouTube. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Ben and Winnie. Uh -huh. Well done. Well done. Um, you get details we'll get how to in, pick up in your touch and, uh, How you get in your stuff. Wow. Let me ask you, Jalan. Go ahead, bro. We've done this for so long. What's the next step? You see, the truth is, eh? I've just been thinking, my huh? truth is, and uh, we were seated somewhere and said, you know what? What is the next step? And uh, this question even came back the other day when uh, Kamen and I started a TV show. Yes. And when I saw <coughs> the comments, the people were happy. Yeah. And the people were asking, when are the newbies being given a chance? When are the new people coming in? Yeah. Why always minor? Why always this and this? You understand? Yeah. And uh, Can I answer that question? <laughs> 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 what you've got to do is come and take my place. Come with your content. By the way, I'll step aside easily, any day. If you're good, then what I Yes, mean. go and take his job. Of course. By the way, if you go to Patrick Kwako with great content. He will take and he will fire me. He will tell us, you, if you go away. And knowing Patrick Kwako will call you in the office. Yeah. With a briefcase and tell you... <laughs> Here is money. He leave. Uh, no, but he's very decent because yeah. he also gives you a good buy card. Yeah. Yeah, he will put a card. There's a card in there. If yeah. you're a lady, he'll give you flowers. Flowers. In addition to a yeah. check. Yeah, to a check and So you. you come. Actually, let me ask you a question. You know how to get in touch with Jalango. If you've got content, send it to him. We'll go through it. I promise you. Because I I've always asked myself, how many people have we seen come and go? And go. Revenue. People who are even better than us. Yeah. People who were even more talented than myself. True. But this thing boils down to discipline. Discipline. Sometimes it's never even about talent. It's discipline. It's discipline. Yeah. Do you it's know? It's not easy. My, at our age, uh -huh. at the time, five o'clock in the morning, we are in the studio. Yes. Waiting to wake up. Kwam can be 4 a.m. You know, like I was telling guys, yeah. the, many, the morning show is not even about how good you are. No. The first qualification. Mm. Can you wake up? Who is there? Yeah. Can, can you, you wake, wake up? up? That's the question. Can you wake up? Usha wa yamka, wewe unawacha wachumano wako wakiwa melala. We have. Uh, yani you wake up, you get to the gate, you yes. tell wachi, hey, hey. muka nani? Anamka, <laughs> anaburuta gate. <laughs> Unajua by the time afunge, hata uta kuwe mefiga roundabout, asha alala. You will be dead asleep. It's a nature. So this thing, some of them are just come about up, but come up, come up. discipline. Yeah, discipline. And you know, you're this, it yeah. is even much better right now. There's a lot of avenues and places to show your talent. You understand? Yes. Social media. Very many. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'll make it easier. Mm -hmm. Okay? On Jalango TV, I want you to send in your demos. And here's what I'm going to do for the winner that he selects. Yes. And it's going to be a one-month competition. I'm going to host a weekly radio online show with you. Wow. Wow. And when we get sponsors, you'll make money from that. A weekly. Weekly podcast. So, send Jalango your demos. And I want to have an idea of your content. What, what direction do you want to go in? Who are you targeting? How are you going to fulfill that audience? If you can do that for me, I'll host a podcast once a week or once a month, depending on your availability, but it'll run on Jalango's platforms. Wow. That's Challenge him. accepted? Accepted. Because, because at the end of the day, yeah. there must be another Kagen. There has to be. There has to be another Jalango. And you're but there. I, you're listening to but, me but, now. 
but the fact that you won't push yourself you won't take the challenges that's it it is so sad that new things like youtube and everything it is still us running it's it's crazy that you go on instagram it is still us who has the biggest following this is your thing this is your new you're the newbies if the door of opportunity does not open when you knock push it maybe it's not locked push it what's the worst thing jalango can say to you no that's it he won't kill you so wow. shoot, just bring whatever you've got. I know we'll never kill you. Wow. I've been rejected so many times. I'm used to it. Ask Kerene, they let Kerene rest in peace. That would. Lala Salama. Nilipigiwa kengele hapo after two minutes. Nikiwa na kipawa point nime pandisha huko. Unakunja hizo ma projector unatoka nazo. Because the next appointment is waiting. Wow. So, no dang kill. But guess what? If you do it, he might say yes. Then? Ladies and gentlemen, talking about uh, Maina and wherever he's been, definitely one of our biggest sponsors in this show is called the Airlift Kenya. Airlift Kenya are these amazing, amazing people. He's yes. a brother of mine called Mwiti. Yeah. He's based in Tampa, Florida. Florida. Yes. And uh, he has a company called the Aptec. Yeah. Now, what these guys did was to make sure that, you know what, they sponsor brilliant Kenyan students yeah. to go to the United States to yeah. take on IT. Yes. Him himself uh, went as an IT student, yeah. but he's now opened his his uh, company is yeah. called Aptec. Yeah. And uh, I need even the guys in the United States who are watching to check out for Aptec the u.s through bob mwiti and he also has his youtube channel and uh they've been taking brilliant students uh, in the states true uh, to just pursue uh IT and that's a very study. big thing by the way and i'll tell you it's a big thing oh yes the first ever airlift of brilliant kenyan students mm -hmm. was done by tom boya tom boya in the 60s amongst the beneficiaries mm -hmm. of that initial airlift mm -hmm. was barack, barack obama senior that's it if there were no airlifts, there'd be no Obama. That's true. President Barack Obama would not have existed. So take advantage of that airlift. That's a country of huge possibility. Trust me. Wow. You watch this video, yeah. then we shall come back. I'll be having a quick fire with Maina before we close it down. This Amen. is Bonga Najalas. Have you heard of the Kenya <clears throat> Airlift Program? An initiative that supports Kenyan students to undertake IT-related master's programs in the U.S.? To qualify, one must have a minimum of a B-plane in KCSE plus a second-class division in any undergraduate major. Apply. For details, visit www.kenyaairliftprogram.com or give us a call on plus 1813-573-5619. Kenya Airlift Program. Empowering Kenyan students. It's good in IT. And you've watched that video. Check out Aptech Africa. Uh, that's the company Airlift Kenya program. Follow Bob uh, Bob Mwiti and definitely I hosted uh, Kiogora DMK Kiogora here. You heard and gave all the details about Airlift Kenya. And amazingly, amazingly. Now I want to also give a big shout out to Jamex. That is Jamuri Express. Jamuri Express has this guys who've decided that you know what they will ship you anything yes, from I've the United about States. That. Yes, it's called Jamex. Yeah, Jamex for the word Jamhuri. Yes, Jamuri Express. Are you in Kenya? Do you want to bring stuff from the US from whichever platform? eBay, yeah. uh, Alibaba, paper, paper, every every yeah. other platform where you shop and you want it brought in to the U, uh, uh, from the US to Kenya. If you're a Kenyan and want to bring stuff from the US or you are in the US and you want to bring stuff back to the country, there's only one way to ship it in. Within 10 days, yeah. they either do ship 
or uh, or air or air or air and uh, definitely your staff will be here in no time they're called jamex jamex for jamori Jamburi express. express they're based here at uh, bunyala road yeah on bunyala road that is where their office are and they're doing an amazing amazing job and most of the things that actually kenyans uh, bring from the state mostly yeah are shoes True. people love shoes shoes are then big. then uh, mothers love to bring in uh, uh, kids stuff yes the, ro- uh, the, the, the toys and dolls and everything and yeah accessories. bikes is a big thing yeah music system is also a big thing so if you want this original original stuff from the us and oh check out jamori express jamex they'll always be able to sort you out definitely definitely quick fire for yeah. you minor before uh-huh. we just close down yes what is this one thing you can never leave the house without my phone hmm my phone your phone i can't live without my phone uh-huh hata nikifika mm. kwa get lion please mm. you realize kumbuke yeah. hey, okay i may not go back but there will be someone who will go and bring it to me and i'll have it by 6:15 wow yes diamond or harmonize i don't know who could be calling me it could be anyone there are people who have called me and Within five minutes, they brought so much business. Are you running away from my question? No. Diamond or harmonize? Oh, diamond or harmonize? Yeah. Diamond or ha- diamond? Mm-hmm. Simba, 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 Simba. Simba like is a is a king. He <laughs> truly is. He he he's got everything. Mm. He's got the songwriting. He's got the look. He's got the songs. He's got the voice. He's got the package. He's got the biz in the show biz, mm-hmm. and you can't take that away from him. Boxers or briefs? Briefs. Hey, you're a briefs guy. Shika kitu. <laughs> Guys, I will not go on. Uh, this is Bogala Jalas. <laughs> Minor state of okay, the camera. Okay, hold on. Let me ask you quick fire. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing you can't leave home without? Of course, my phone. Uh-huh. Yes. Um King Kaka or the OG. Oh man. Now you spoiled it. <laughs> this show cannot go on. <laughs> we are done. Both of them are my brothers. But before we go on, sit yes. up on this camera. Yes. I need you guys to talk to the youth. Yeah. Talk to the leadership of this country. Yeah. Talk to the country at large. Okay. Minak again. You are um to young people. Things may look hard and difficult. Imagine. And I know you're really feeling them. But in times like this. What's going to determine how well you do are your survival skills. You've got to dig within your own personal resources. That's where ideas come from. You got an advantage of social media, WhatsApp groups. You can share your ideas. There were people years ago who kept them in their head and they died with some of the best ideas ever. You're only going to get through this now if you either have a job or a good business. If not you have to dig into your personal resources. You've got to create your own market. And I really wish you the best and you can access me any day of social media inbox me. I've got teams who just sit there and just receive what your ideas are. If you've got a great idea that you need funding, Haiwezi Kosa. Uh to the leadership um please leave us better than you found us. That is our only prayer. Leave us better than you found us, and not just economically, but also the fabric of the nation, opportunities for everyone, advancement in infrastructure. Our prayer is that you leave us better than you found us. And um, I just want to say thank you. I love you. I appreciate your love and all your support, and I appreciate my brother. Without him. Trust me, this whole game would be different. And where he started from, he started out without a bob, for real. And yet we are sitting here today on Jalango TV. If your mind can conceive it and you believe it, you can do it. Thank you. Wow. This is Bonga Najalas a conversation that we will have again and again and definitely if you send in all those uh, ideas we will uh, shift through them and uh, you never know mine will just be hosting a podcast with you on Jalango TV 
bro yeah i hear you are tumbukiza nonsense is ready. and it's cultural nonsense. and your cultural things <laughs> the waru and, and the waru and the minji me actually they could be minji i forgot minji <laughs> I love you, bro. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers. No lying. No lying. No lying. Give it. No, no, no lying. The moment I have something in common with my sister, I'll be ranked as a princess. You can cook. I can't cook. Hey, mute. Mute. I can't cook. I can't. There's a degree of cleanliness a man should reach. You know, I'm one of the cleanest men you can ever find in Nairobi. In fact, in Africa. We have to see what is here. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! How many people do you say in the city? <laughs>